test mic one two three test mic one two three test mic one two three Hello Momsies, thanks for stopping by on my channel. If you're new here, welcome, I'm Momsy Vanny. In today's video, we will be doing an unboxing, product review, and sound test or sound check on this wireless Go mic that I got from Rode. By the way, this is not a sponsored vlog, but I wish it was. This was actually bought by my husband. And the reason being is that every time my kids will do or they are required to have their assignments uh, be done on video, I'm having hard time um, doing it because I'm only using a wired mic also from Rode. That's a level year uh, microphone. Uh, the wire is not that long enough every time I take the videos. That's why we decided um, to get the wireless mic so that it would be easier for us to record the video and also I can use it uh, with my vlogs. That needs to be, you know, there's a distance between me and my camera. So I know you're excited also to, to know about this product so without much ado mga momsies let's get into it so these are all the things that you will get when you buy the wireless go kit so this is how the packaging looks like we bought this one actually in singapore for the price of 239 singapore dollars or approximately 8,000 pesos and firstly is you have the fur windshield which you can use when you are vlogging outside especially when it's windy or there or there's a lot of noise in the background of course the quick start guide also is included and this is called the se4 cable which you will use to connect your microphone to your camera and two usb-c um, cable uh, used to charge your microphone and also this carry pouch that is just enough for your microphone to be um, placed inside and finally the uh, microphone this is the receiver and this is the transmitter so as you can see the difference on the two by looking them here is that the receiver has this um, little um, screen for monitoring now let's go ahead and talk about the receiver and the transmitter now as you can see here this is the receiver and here is the road logo and at the side is the USB-C port used for charging and this port here is where you connect the SC4 cable there you will connect that one here and the other end goes to your camera by the way this is uh, a trs type of cable all right now at the bottom you will see two buttons here this is the db or decibel which is used to measure the intensity of the sound later on i will show you here on the um, screen and at the other end I mean this side here is the pairing button um, there's none on this side and on the top is you will see the power button and at the back is this clip where you can attach it um, anywhere on your camera this is designed like a horseshoe type of clip so it would be easier for you to attach it near your camera now let's talk about the transmitter so as you can see here you will see in front the road logo and on this side is the usb-c port for charging and at the bottom is the power button and on the top you will see these two light indicators as we turn it on later on it will indicate the pairing and also the battery level and this is the mic itself and this port here is where you can connect another um, mic which is wired if you want to use um, another uh, microphone for me i do have a lavalier mic so if i want to use it i can just simply connect it here now at the back is also this clip on thing 
that you can use to clip your transmitter on your clothes or anywhere you want to to attach it so let's go ahead and power up this um, microphone so all you have to do is just press on the power button really long and as you can see here in the monitor that it's showing its battery level uh, for your receiver and it's trying to communicate with your transmitter so let's power this one on also by the way as you can see that these two devices were already paired and you will see here that on the transmitter if it, it shows two solid blue lights that means that it's already paired on your receiver and it's also showing the battery level and as you can see here on the receiver that it's um, capturing the sound that i'm creating right now and the decibel button here as you can see you can adjust to three levels so this is like the maximum level but mostly uh, they advise to use just the lowest level of your decibel so that you still have the chance to adjust your mic level or your audio level when you are editing rather than selecting the highest level of your decibel so also it shows here the battery level of receiver and your transmitter by the way initially uh, you need to charge these um, devices within an hour and the battery level of both is up to seven hours from full charge so i will try to move further away mga momsies to check the audio quality of this one so approximately this is like um, five to ten meters away i hope you can still see me i'm here so this is now the um, audio quality of road wireless go now i attach the um like the fur and uh, there's a little wind coming out i mean there's a little wind on the background but not really that strong just to see if this is an effect or it can minimize at least the noise that is um, being captured by the mic my air conditioner is currently running right now i don't know if you can hear that or the microphone can capture that sound so this is how the audio quality sounds like Let me share with you, mga mamsies, this basic setup that you can do with your Rode Wireless Go connected to your camera. So again, this is the SC4 cable or the TRS cable connected to the, the external mic output of your camera. And I bought this accessory from Olanze where you can connect your um, camera here and this part here is for your external mic. It's good thing that the clip on of this um, wireless go mic is like a horseshoe where you can just simply slide it there and it would really look pretty decent if your setup would be like this. All right, this time mga momsies, let us do a really quick comparison between the lavalier mic from Rode and the wireless go mic from Rode so basically if you wanted to connect a wired mic on your wireless go um, a microphone all you have to do is to get this kind of adapter which is a TRS at the uh, other end of the um, cable now the lavalier mic that I have, which is the wired one, has a TRRS um, connector. So this will not work if you will connect it straight to your wireless Go microphone. So that's why you need to have this um, adapter. Mic test, mic test, mic test. I was having some technical issues earlier, mga momsies. It's a good thing that I have an extra TRS cable. But anyways, moving forward, 
This is again how our connection looks like. So we have connected our um, level year wired um, microphone to this adapter and we will connect this one here on our wireless go mic all right so again this um, port here this is where we are going to connect this and put this one on okay and attach it here how our audio quality sounds like so is there any difference or do you hear any difference now that we are using the lavalier mic i hope you do hear something different mga mamsis and if you do please do comment down below now if you are wondering why we still need to connect this mic on our wireless go mic well in fact this is already a very good wireless mic that we can use right so just by looking at it you will know the reason why this one is smaller compared to this but it really depends on how you use your microphone so this one you can use it like this this one you can hide it here or it depends on what you are wearing right so it's really about like um, your your preference on which one you want to use but it's good that at least we have options to select from um, which microphones we want to use let me just share with you real quick also mga momsies how the receiver looks like now that our lavalier is still connected with our wireless go um, microphone and also you will see that the battery level of our transmitter and our receiver is the color is orange so that means it's already um, low in battery So that's all for our vlog today mga momsies. I hope this helps. I will try to do on my next vlog how to set up your wireless go microphone with your mobile phones or with your laptops especially during your zoom calls or whenever you have your meetings so again if you do like this video please do give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell and i hope to see you on the mumsy club see you on my next one godspeed